Friday morning, everyone. Today I'm going to talk about this piece. Uh, this piece is on my website. It's available for sale, uh, unless I've already sold it, in which case, sorry, you missed out. Um, this is <laughs> this is a piece that I painted. Um, originally, I was inspired by my dad's love for sailing, but um, I've always loved the ocean and I've always loved swimming and water and everything. One of the things that I absolutely love, and now I've been to, uh, I've been to the East Coast and the West Coast on the oceans, and the oceans are very, very different, and the sand is very, very different. On the we, <laughs> on the um, West Coast um, in California, say Huntington Beach, the sand is dark brown. Uh, it's very, very cold there. And the ocean, the water is very, very cold, and and the skies are gray, and it's just, it's a little misty. It's, it's not prime beach weather, and it's not prime beach conditions, unless you just love being in cold water and have a wetsuit and everything like that. But on the East Coast, um, in um, Cocoa Beach, Florida, the sand is pure white, and the ocean is purple instead of blue and the water is warm all year round and all day long and the sun uh, the sky and the sun are like you know golden purple pink and it is just so it's very tropical it's just very beautiful there it's if, if you want to um, go to a beach that has that tropical setting and it's warm all the time you don't have to go to Tijuana you don't have to go to the Caribbean you can just go to Cocoa Beach Florida um, in the off season doesn't matter it's perfect now this one I did make the <laughs> I did make the sand gray but that's just because I wanted to create a lot of contrast with the white and the deep teal of the waves one of the things that I love about colors is that colors that different colors have different meanings and the color of the love of wealth is a deep teal color now this is not quite as blue as that and um, well, in the in the sky being a little bit orangey, it it kind of it kind of uh, pulled the green out of the out of the ocean. Um, let's see if I have something blue. I have a blue Rubik's cube. Let me let me show you these together. So you can tell that you can tell that the water is is a lot greener than bluer. It's not just an optical illusion with the with the orange of the sky, but it's um, and the gray of the sand, but it's it's greener. So it's it's not quite as like a like that deep teal color of the love of wealth, but it's it's really beautiful. Anyway, this is one of my favorite pieces. It's been sitting in my house forever, and because I haven't posted it, I haven't put it online. I haven't wanted to sell it because I just love it so much. And my dad, who is just an avid sailor, he he loves it too. So whenever he comes to visit me and check in on me um, he just he loves picking up this piece and running his hands over the texture and everything like that it's really beautiful and <sighs> recently I finally was like okay Rita you have a whole bunch of new art that's coming in that you're that you're making and that you're about to fill your your home with before it sells and you need to you know some of your favorite pieces that you love so much you're gonna have to sell them so I've just recently put this online for sale and uh, it'll probably sound really quickly. It's just so beautiful. But what I wanted to talk to you today is about how art in the ocean, um, there, there's a massive, <sighs> it's one thing to take a picture of the ocean at a specific moment and get this really amazing shot. But when you're painting the ocean, you can create whatever conditions you want. You don't have to sit out there all day and get the perfect shot or go to a specific beach and get a perfect shot. Um, and you only have that one shot because you, you can't get another one. When you're painting the ocean, when you're an artist like me and you're painting the ocean, you can create any kind of condition that you want and create any kind of coloring that you want. This is something that Photoshop just can't do because and, and, and even though I do have some digital art that is available in the print side of my white my site, I have some digital art available for um, uh, for uh, available as metal prints, not 
not for like NFT or anything like that. Um, I, I like physical art that I can touch. Physical art that I can lay my hands on and touch and run my hands over, run my fingers over. And um, when, <laughs> when I'm thinking about what I want to do with a piece of art, I'm thinking about the texture of the paint underneath my fingers. I'm thinking about the texture of the paint. It's something that digital art can't really replicate. You can you can move colors and lines around a lot in digital art and you can you can create shading in digital art, but you can do the same thing with physical touchable art that you can hold in your hands. This is the kind of thing that I love. And uh, the reason why I don't, that's the reason why I don't make my, I currently do not make any of my art available through NFTs or anything like that because I like the visceral feel of being able to physically pick something up and actually touch, you know, actually have a, a physical face-to-face -face experience with it. Now, you might be thinking, okay, Barita, you have digital art on your website, so what's that about? The digital art is only on the print side of my website. Um, I do not, I do not sell digital art files. I do not sell digital art files of any type, NFT or otherwise. No downloads, nothing like that. Um, what I sell are uh, digital art that has that is being used with my printing service. I have a beautiful printing service that creates lightweight and extremely durable metal prints. And because I don't like that smooth metal finish, I like the the brushed metal finish. Um, I have all of my prints done in that only. N no other options. I do have a wide range, ra wide range of size options, but no other medium available on my on the print side of my site. And um, so my digital art is is only that on that side, and I love it. But um, this this is this is the painting that I love to do. I, I love to do small originals and oversized originals. Uh, you see a couple of oversized originals behind me. Um, this, this lovely man with the hat and the couple, and then this couple on the side. Um, but this piece is just my love of Cocoa Beach, and uh, even though it doesn't look like Cocoa Beach entirely, because uh, the waves in Cocoa Beach are purple, they're not, they're not blue. But this is, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just kissing it. I'm like, I love this so much. I love this piece. I hate to put it up to sale, but I think that, I think that I need to let, give somebody else a chance to own it. And I think that I need to stop, stop being a little, you know, so selfish because I kind of, I've kind of been, oh, I love this piece. I love this piece. I love this piece. And, uh, but I need to make more room because um, I have some brand new paintings coming out and they're going to be in my home studio so that people can come and visit me and buy them directly face to face. So I'm really careful to keep things rotated out and I, I need to get rid of this. I don't want to get rid of it. I love it so much. I love it so much. Um, <laughs> but, um, okay, now let's look at the brush strokes. Um, the waves have been done in a tumultuous, uh, layering and fan effect in the begin in the forefront and then in the background, uh, there's still more tumultuous waves, but there's some under layering and some under coloring and the sky has in order to complement the waves and to keep the sky as something that is not often in, in seascapes the sky and the sea are almost almost the same color I mean they're just so you know the, the sky is is like a secondary character in the in the piece but what I wanted to do is I wanted to make the sky and the sand um, kind of fade into the background so I made the sky kind of an orangey color I kind of, kind of made it almost dingy on purpose just so that I could push it back I got the clouds in there but I kept the clouds in a in a nice muted tone so there's there's some peachy and some and some uh, dusky blue gray but um, in and the in the sand is a nice model model gray color you can see that the sand has some nice modeled streaks and strokes in it but the way the water is splashing up onto the sand in, in uh, multiple waves, that's the kind of thing that I just kind of, 
I just kind of go nuts over it. I'm sorry, I love this piece. I don't want to sell it. But I, I think I should sell it because I have brand new art coming out. It's badass. It's so cool. And I I need to I need to just let this go. I hate it. I don't want to let this go. But um, this is available on my site unless it's already sold by the time you see this. Um, <laughs> And uh, let's see here. All of my prices are currently six thousand a piece for small originals. My oversized originals behind me are forty thousand a piece, and my other oversized originals are forty thousand a piece. Uh, but this is this is only six thousand a piece. Uh, my, my small originals are only six thousand a piece, and I, I'm going crazy. I love this piece. I love it so much. Okay, Rita, let it go. It's okay. Let it go. Um. <laughs> I, I normally would talk about some of the meanings of art in the ocean, but I'm going to have to do that on another painting because I've, I've spent all my time just gushing over how much I love this particular... Okay, I'm going to go now. Have a lovely Friday afternoon, and I hope to see you next week.